The state assemblies overwhelmingly passed a bill that would require the attorney general to establish a statewide gun buyback program. Nine of them each year where residents can turn in guns for cash, no questions asked. No telling whether the Senate will pass it or whether Governor Christie will sign it into law. Joining us from the Eagleton Institute at Rutgers, Assembly Republican leader John Bramnick. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to be with you, Mary Alice. There have been 10 buybacks in the last two years. Why is this different? Well, first, this is a bill, I believe, that received some votes in the Assembly, but I'd like to leave this up to John Hoffman to make the decision, the Attorney General. You know, where he does the buyback, when he does the buyback, I think that's within the discretion of the Attorney General. I don't like when the legislature micromanages the chief law enforcement's activities. I'm a big supporter of a gun buyback, but yeah, I don't like big government determining when, how, where, and why. I'll leave that up to a great Attorney General, John Hoffman. Now, you've called gun buybacks an important crime-fighting tool. So far in the last two years, the buybacks have netted 16,000 firearms, but only 1,900 of them were illegal. So is that really effective? Well, less guns is probably good when those guns are on the street for the wrong reason. So there are people who don't support the gun buyback. They don't think it's effective. I'll make it real simple. Less guns on the street, less illegal guns on the street, good. More illegal guns on the street, bad. Right, but criminals, it said, are not necessarily the ones who actually turn in guns. Well, I don't know about that. I've heard grandmothers have brought them in, mothers have brought them in. There are people who find guns or know maybe there's a gun in their house, and they just they don't know what to do with it. What are you going to do with a gun? You're going to throw it away? Here's an opportunity to get rid of a gun, give it to the attorney general with no questions asked. That's a pretty good program. What are you going to do with a gun? Let's assume you know there's a gun in your house. What are you going to do with it? You're going to call the police? No, that would be scary. You might get someone arrested. That's not going to happen. I think it's a great program. I just don't want the legislature dictating how the attorney general does it. How successful have individual buybacks been in New Jersey? They've been very successful, and they've picked up all kinds of very dangerous weapons. I know when uh, uh, Jeff Chiesa, the former attorney general, was there, he found it very successful, and I think John Hoffman has as well, and it should continue. But once again, let law enforcement make that decision. Have you talked to Governor Christie about his stance on this issue? I have not, but I'm assuming that if both of his attorney generals have done it, I'm assuming he's not against it. Uh, if he was, uh, I guess he would let his attorney generals know. So, but I'm sure that governor doesn't want the legislature, should I say, I'll guess that the, attorney, that the governor doesn't want the attorney generals being told how to do it. And I don't think a Democratic governor would want it done that way either. What, what other crime initiatives complement gun buybacks to reduce crime? Well, I truly believe that we should always increase the penalty if you steal a gun and from a house that should be automatically automatically prison time and that's a bill that's pending in the state legislature okay assemblyman republican leader john bramnick thank you so much for being with us good to be with you mary alice